Hey everybody, I got something a bit different today. This is a Carvin Pro Bass 200. This is a modern amplifier, and I got this as a uh, gift from somebody in our community here. This is from Wyatt. Thank you, Wyatt. And this amp, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really work. It, it kind of works, but you have to, you have to tap it and get it uh, just in the right way. I, I did turn it on last night. Uh, also, the the speaker doesn't sound too well. So it needs some work, it's a little tired, uh, but since it was a gift, it's a modern amplifier, so I figured I'm gonna take a crack at it. So let's get started. And do me a favor, uh, YouTube has a, a strange way of uh, how they post videos and rank videos, so if you could hit that like button down there, it really helps me out a lot when you do. You hear something back there. That comes in a little better, but it's still distorted. You'll see what I'm getting at. Too easy. These screws here not only secure the faceplate, but they also secure the circuit board inside as well. I'll need to remove these knobs before I remove the faceplate. This knob is missing and I'll need to replace it. I'll also remove this connecting cable here off the main circuit board. This looks really bad, look at that. This needs a cleaning. No doubt. Luckily, it also looks like all of the pots are serviceable. It would appear so anyway, that I could get in there and do some work on these. So we're gonna find out. I'm also gonna move this circuit board right quick so I could uh, clean up this jack. This is just to get at the connectors and clean them up nice. Before anything, I'm gonna try and blow out a lot of this dust here that's caught up in this equalizer before I use any deoxid. I don't wanna turn this into mud. See a lot of that crawled out of the bottom here. This is a noted improvement. And just a general purpose across the board. Before I get underway. This as well. Trying to just get a little bit of deoxid on each one. And work each one of these. There is a detent on all of these in the middle position. I'm actually end up using this to flush. The deoxid that's on there carries the dust away with the air. You can see the, the dirt hitting the table. Very nice. You can see some residual right there. And you can see it's like all these little fibers, like like from carpet or whatnot, and, it, and probably from the carpet of the amp itself, the, the exterior, that got caught up in there. It's now draining out of these potentiometers, and that's what I'm trying to get to clean this up. And that looks really nice and shiny inside now. So we're gonna call those areas done now. We're gonna see how that works. Wow, what a difference. These really unstiffen. I don't know if it's just because of the uh, deoxid getting in between uh, this plastic piece and, and the shaft here, the metal shaft, but it's definitely getting in there. So we're giving this a go. We're going to do all of them just like this. See how this moves? And this one is like... Okay, all the pots have been treated with deoxid. There was also something spilled onto the circuit board around here that was uh, shown it was like eating away at the etching a bit. So I used a little deoxid on there to clean that up. So that's done too. Now I'm gonna allow the circuit board to hang and drip dry overnight. This one contacts will be sprayed as well.
For testing, I've just put in three screws. Be sure to connect this cable before putting this board back in or you will take this board back out. I just learned that. Removed, fixed, reinstalled. I've got power hooked up, isolation transformer, and I have a test speaker just off camera, eight ohms into the speaker output. Definitely not uh, 80 watt speaker output, but uh, for testing, it'll be fine for what we're doing. So we'll power on. Everything is fired up. And I've pre-selected a song from bensound.com, royalty-free music. And this is called Happy Rock. Uh, I checked this song because it's got a, a lot of bass in it, like bass guitar. And it's something that I could use to check a lot of these controls will get started. Remember, we're using a little tiny speaker up here. There's trouble. I don't know what that does in as far as this goes right now, but maybe when the guitar's connected. Yeah, it looks like the controls are working. I wonder if these buttons will have more of a an effect when the guitar is connected to it. I won't know just yet, we'll get to that later. Right now it seems that the problems with the amp have cleared up. So here's what we got going on with the cabinet. Uh, it's really shaggy, especially on the sides and the top. There's like a ton of dog or cat hair stuck in here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing to bring this cabinet back. First order of business, I'm using long strips of masking tape and it just goes on the cabinet and pulls up like that. It really doesn't take long uh, to go through it to pull up all of the dirt and dog hair out of the fabric. It doesn't help for the fact that the fabric is all nappy. That'll be taken care of next. But what it does do is pull all of that dirt and dog hair right out of it, leaving nothing but the original fabric behind. This part I just go right over with a hair trimmer. I'll hit it with tape one more time when it's done. Should be as good as new. So I got the top of the cabinet done right quick, just for an example, and now I'll hit it with the tape again. And I may hit it with the trimmer a few more times, but what we got under there is essentially a brand new cabinet compared to what it used to look like. So I might scruff it up a, a little just to bring up the nap a bit after, after it's set up, but it looks good. Get the remaining pieces out. I think the top is coming out nice when compared to what the side looks like. There's a big difference there. So the case has gotten a complete makeover. Still a couple of stragglers to get, but what an improvement over what it used to look like. I have to uh, glue this area right here and tape it together. But that's the only thing I need to do uh, cosmetically. Uh, the wife points out a couple areas that I've missed. Good. I still need to get behind the speaker cabinet though. Anything behind here hasn't been done. A couple stragglers on the side here after the vacuuming, the final vacuuming exposed that. But yeah, wow, that looks really nice compared to what it used to look like. I'm going to get the grill off now, taking off this cover here. The logo on the bottom will need to be unscrewed as well. I'm going to start with the tweeter section since there's no special safety consideration here. Make my way down to the bottom of the main speaker cabinet here. I'm going to see how easy this dust is to remove before I go with the vacuum cleaner. 
I mean, oil collects in the, the grill here. There's really nothing you can do about it. Yeah, that works. That works nice. We're going to go with that. Now we'll run some tape in some areas here. I think we're ready to put the amplifier back in and see how it sounds. The issue with the speaker is gone. As I suspected, all of the crap on the bottom of the speaker was causing it to vibrate. This is the lowest note I got. Kick up the bass. Not distorting. Very happy. And these buttons have an effect, like I do remember vaguely, but only on the input jack, not on the, the inputs here, not the RCA input. So. So those buttons work, the volume works. Bass works. Gain works with the frequency adjustment. Trouble works. I could see compression here. It activates, but I, I, I'm, I'm not really sure how to set that up. And, and gate, I can see that the light turns on with gate. And finally, we've got the post shaping equalizer. Everything works. Nice. Only needs a bass guitar to test this out. We found a bass guitarist on a Saturday. My father showed up with his guitar. To test it out. Pickups all the way up too, or you, did you cut them back? My pickups? Yeah, they're up to four. They're because the two. amp is only sitting at, at half power right now. <laughs> So that's it, that concludes uh, uh, the video on this uh, restoration, repair, cleaning of this uh, Carbon Pro Base 200 video. Hit that like button down below, it helps me a lot when you do. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply?